It's a, it's a great offer, Mark. We love it. Depends how much you want to change the world. Is 1% going to change? No flexibility. We're at 5, 7. Can like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face in your sleep. Mark Cuban is the only billionaire among all the sharks and he loves to make sure that the businesses he'll invest in will double or even triple the worth of their money because he knows the value of him being a shark and he knows the value of his wallet. For a million and now you have access to two million. You got a deal. Deal, oh, yes sir. Right. Welcome back to the Filmy where we talk about the greatest events that happened on television. 1031 Productions Melissa Carbone's 1030 Productions is all about her horror attraction company. She pitched her business with scary and creepy mascots that scared the sharks. It's over. Think again. Oh God. <laughs> Carbone shocked the sharks when she told them she pulled in over $1 million a night during the Halloween season for her premiere event in Los Angeles, and Cuban jumped at the opportunity to take the company national. Mark Cuban invested $2 million for 20% equity. 1031 Productions. I'll give me $2 million for 40%. Can I counter $2 million for 20%? I'll take that offer. Done. Really? Yep. New Milk. Joe Savino and Ari Tolwin are revolutionizing the way we drink our regular milk. Their business is called New Milk and they're providing the best vegan milk there is. It's a, it's a great offer, Mark. We love it. Depends how much you want to change the world. Is 1% going to change? No flexibility. We're at 5, 7, can't do 6. From almond to oat milk, even chocolate milk. And here's the crazy part. They want a million dollars only giving away 5% of the company. Mark didn't hesitate to make the offer since he loves the almond milk he just tasted from the machine. He invested a whopping $2 million in exchange for 10% of the company. For a million, and now you have access to 2 million. You got a deal. Deal, oh, yes sir. Right. Beatbox Beverages. Justin Fenchel, Amy Stedman, and Brad Schultz created something that elevates the boring glass of wine. And that, that offer, yeah, thank you for making it. We, we didn't anticipate giving up, you know. That counter, just come back and tell yeah, me. Yeah, so would you do a million for a third? They created a product that is more than a drink, but an experience. With the variety of flavors they offered, all the sharks agreed that it tastes good. Three sharks made an offer, but in the end, they chose Mark Cuban, because who can say no to a million dollar investment? Obviously, not them. Yeah. All right. Deal? Are you ready? <laughs> wow! <laughs> Simple Sugars Lonnie Lazzari, who was 18 at the time of filming this episode, was the real deal. She gave a thorough pitch of her Simple Sugars line of skincare products. Almost seven years ago, when I was 11 years old. Since infancy, I've suffered from horrible eczema. I couldn't find a single product that I could safely She outlined a clear plan for how she would use an investor's capital and guidance and didn't balk during a round of difficult questions. Cuban made a deal with her for $100,000 in return for 33% equity. Without using a laundry list of products. Up until this point, I've been growing Simple Sugars while simultaneously being a high school student. Now that I've graduated, I'm ready to do whatever- Zibs Wine. Zibs Wine Chief Consultant Andrew McMurray landed the biggest Shark Tank deal of the past six seasons when Kevin O'Leary agreed to invest $2.5 million in return for 10% equity. Those two things, that's also part of the patent, is the UV so, wrap, the shrink wrap on the outside. So those two things, okay, okay, let's put the patent aside for a moment. Okay, sure. You, you have no desire to make your own. What's especially interesting is that the shark started with a bias against McMurray simply because his company reminded him of another single-serving wine company, Copa di Vino. But his main strength was keeping a cool head and having the willingness to negotiate. Very good deal. Andrew, are you going to take my deal or not? Don't be a fool. I'm on board. Yay! All right. Cheers. Yeah! Trunkster. 
This smart luggage company is changing the plain old boring design of the regular luggage into something more elegant and more advanced with the special features. Trunkster, you've got juice all to yourself via the built-in USB ports powered by a removable battery. And forget about lost luggage nightmares, because Trunkster offers global location. The only problem is these guys are asking for $1.4 million without even selling anything. They valued the business for $28 million without actual sales. Hmm, that's not right for the sharks, but with, but with a bright idea, Lori and Mark invested $1.4 million for 5%. However, the catch is they'll need to return the full investment in 24 months. If not, the equity will go up to 10% and $1 perpetuity once the amount is paid back. What a deal. I would take that deal. Yeah, we'll take that deal. Well, hang on. Are you guys splitting it? Mark? Yeah, we'll split it. Wow. <laughs> Truffle Shuffle. Jason McKinney and Tyler Vorse are seeking $500,000 for a 5% stake in their company that delivers not just the freshest ingredients with truffles on it, but the experience of being taught by Michelin star chefs. Mike, <laughs> camera, action. action. Welcome to the Truffle Shuffle Show. We've got Truffle Shuffle basically gives every household the chance to experience gourmet food at home. Kevin and Robert fought for a deal, but in the end, Mark wins with $501,000 for 18% equity. Thanks, baby. Mm. <laughs> it's gonna be Let's great, guys. Do it. I'm Take excited. Guys. Oh, Kevin, um, we actually have an offer for yourself. Would you like to purchase these truffles? <laughs> Trophy Smack. We all know that Mark Cuban's huge chunk of wealth comes from sports-related business ventures. Matt Walsh and Dax Holt are a duo that created an entire corporation that can customize trophies. We had 775,000 uh, gross profit, and we netted around 500. And this year, what are you gonna do? Year to date. So in spite- Who would have thought of that amazing concept? Well, they did. Every sport competition, the winners need trophies, and now they created a business in which you can order a customized trophy. Cuban makes an offer with a very short timer and he's out less than 15 seconds after making it. Good thing the duo accepted $600,000 for 17% equity. I'll tell you my so offer. It's, it's, it's your decision, right? Gonna, I'll tell you my offer. Let's take a deal. deal. Done, let's go. Deal. Coconut Girl. This non-dairy ice cream treat captured the hearts of all the sharks. Frankie Yamswan is a sweet and driven girl that created her experiment into a huge business. She store approached me and asked if I did wholesale. I lied. I said, yeah, I do wholesale, so I, That's you know, always the right online. answer. <laughs> and I figured out how to do barcodes, nutrition. She is a fan of healthy foods, and this is the drive behind her business. Everybody wants to pitch an offer to her, but we all know Mark Cuban's technique. He offered $180,000 for 20%, and Frankie willingly accepted the deal. Oh, yeah. Wow. Deal? And he's getting up. Oh my deal? god. It's a deal. Done. Moki Doorstep. Husband and wife duo Zach and Alyssa Brown invented this genius item that will allow people to climb up to the roof of their car in a second. With this device, there's no need for a bulky ladder to reach the height of the car. Moki Doorstep is a vehicle rooftop assistance device. This gives you that quick and easy step up to the top of your car. Let me show you guys how it works. The sharks are in love with this invention. The couple wants $150,000 for 5% equity. Well, Zach said that if the offer is right, he might sell the company. And guess what? Damon John bought the entire thing for a whopping $3 million. Not just the fastest deal on Shark Tank, but also the biggest one. Put the license agreement in place? Yeah. And you'll handle the dollar royalty to our uncle? Yes. You gotta pay Uncle Mookie wow. forever. We'll deal with Uncle Mookie on how long. Let's do it. This is where we'll end our video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to comment, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this, and share it with your family and your friends. We'll see you soon.